Today on Math Acts, I'm showing you how to take a nasty repeating decimal and turn it into a beautiful fraction in just a few simple steps. The best part about today's lesson is you're not even going to need a calculator. It is honestly that simple. So what are we waiting for? Let's hop in. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a repeating number. So you can tell you have a repeating number if you have a bar over some decimals. Now this means that these two decimal places are going to repeat in this pattern forever. So we'll have 5.63454545445 and so on. You can also see it sometimes without the bar and just an ellipsis written afterwards. That also means that the four means that the four and five will repeat forever. So step number one, we're gonna start by setting this value equal to x. We're gonna convert this equation into two separate equations. The first one, I want to rewrite the equation so that the decimal place falls directly to the left of the first set of repeating decimals. So in this problem, the first set of repeating decimals is this four or five right here. So I need to ask myself, what can I multiply 5.634545 by to get 563.4545? Now, the easiest way to look at that is just to say, well, I need to move it two decimal places over, so I'm gonna multiply by 100. Because we have this equation, now I'm gonna multiply both sides by 100. So that's gonna give me 100x equals 563.45 repeating. Okay, that's equation number one. Now equation number two, we need to alter this original equation so that this time the decimal falls directly to the right of the first set of repeating decimals. So that's gonna be an additional two places over. So all I need to move the decimal is one, two, three, four places. So I'll be multiplying both sides of this equation by 10,000 this time. Now, believe it or not, we're almost there. The next step is to subtract the smaller equation from the larger equation. So because this one's 100x and this is 10,000x, I'm going to subtract the left equation from the right equation. I'm just going to make sure that I am lining up the decimal places here to make it easy to subtract. So 10,000x minus 100x is 9,900x. And on the right here, I'm just going to do some basic subtraction. The decimal here, these are going to cancel out. And for our final step here, to convert this into a fraction, we're just gonna solve for x. And we can do this by dividing both sides by that 9,900. Okay, so we get x equals 55,782 over 9,900. And that is actually the answer. That is the fraction equivalent to this original decimal up here. Of course, you can check that with your calculator simply by dividing these two numbers to ensure that you do get 5.6345 repeating. And that's all there is to it. If you'd like a step-by-step -step guide on today's lesson, jump on over to the Math Hacks blog where I have that waiting for you. And if you found today's lesson useful, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can find all the math tutorials where you need them, when you need them. Until next time, I'm Brett Berry and this is Math Hacks.